what's up YouTube welcome to another Bible wisdom video um, today I wanted to talk about um, not giving up on doing good you know you might be discouraged in your life like um, maybe you're not seeing the results that you want you know um, and I sort of feel like that sometimes um, maybe in material things you know maybe um, I, for example I used to stay in an apartment I've lived in multiple apartments by myself but for this moment you know um, I'm in a different living situation and so um, you know that could spark within me this kind of like kind of dejected feeling of like when you don't get something that you're wanting um, or it could be in a different category of life and so I'm it's tempting to sometimes make that same mistake where you're like oh I'm going to you know kind of uh, slack off on the things that I know that are right you know and you might be tempted to drink again if you are been tempted with alcohol to get drunk before in your life you could be tempted to maybe look at pornography if you are not having um you know a marital relationship or if you don't have a boyfriend boyfriend or girlfriend you know you could feel like you're not making um progress in that category and so i want to encourage you to one get wisdom you know um you need to get books the bible says that um desire without knowledge is not good and so i feel way more confident than i did a year ago in certain areas of my life where i didn't really have knowledge about that certain area um and i think we have to get smarter about our certain situations in our life you know the bible says that um for a lack of knowledge you know he was in I think it was in Hosea um, he was talking about the children of Israel how um, they are perishing you know they're dying for a lack of knowledge you know whether it be from a uh, more of a biblical standpoint where maybe there there's some sin in their life that they are not aware of or they're kind of blatantly doing some sin because they don't really feel like uh it's anything to be aware of or they don't feel like anything is wrong with it you know kind of like this smugness about uh, uh maybe smug is too of a, too strong of a word but some some feeling where you feel like sin is beneficial and so i've totally been there where you know, I was kind of always looking to do or get into something that wasn't good. But in the moment, I didn't really realize it wasn't good, you know. And so a lot of people are deceived out in the world. Um, we're deceived into thinking certain things. We're deceived into uh, doing certain things that are not good. You know, we're deceived into thinking, oh, there's no God. You know, there's no a higher purpose for our life and so you know we have to continue to do good you know and I guess you know we'll see I guess my point is that we'll see results you know we're gonna see results um, you know and even if we don't necessarily see the those exact results um, that we're looking for we have to know that God pays attention to us and that he rewards those that diligently seek him you know we have to remember that that for those that believe god exists and that he is that if he rewards those that diligently seek him and so we have to keep searching for god you know and so you probably already do that and so we have to continue on doing that you know continue reading our bible continue reading books about the bible you know continue praying continue uh doing good deeds you know uh continue being nice to that family member or that person in your life that you kind of take offense to or that you're annoyed with 
um, and then also having a level of honesty about yourself where you're confronting wrong things that you have done instead of going through life and you're like you know oh I did that right or you know I handled that situation you know right kind of in a different perspective and saying you know what maybe I am being prideful you know maybe I have pride and God hates pride and so maybe God um, is disciplining me or some situations do happen you know just out of the curse of the earth like it's no it's not a complete fault of your of you you know and so um in those moments we have to definitely really um i think hone into who god is you know god is good you know knowing who our creator is knowing who god our father is you know knowing who birthed us uh and knowing his character you know so we have to remember that because then that brings down any stronghold of uh, a thought against God, you know, because sometimes my thoughts go to, you know, oh, this is not right. You know, uh, this is wrong in the earth. And so, you know, I, I just want to encourage you to keep doing good and remember that God rewards those that diligently seek him. And so we're, we are making progress, you know, um, even though we may not be Bill Gates, you know, you may not have the income that you're looking for right now, realize that life is still going, you know, uh, and God is working all things for your good if you love him and know that you do love him when you're seeking after righteousness, if you're following and keeping God's commands. And so uh, don't be afraid to remember and study God's commands. You know, um, I have to do that. There's a great YouTube video uh, with God's commands on them. Although sometimes uh, the images on that video may not be good. But um, yeah, this is the video for today. I'm going to make another video. Uh, but uh, hope you got something from this message. And thanks for watching. See ya.